So you're studying a higher chemistry and you're hoping to pass. I mean, hopefully everyone is aiming for that. Um, but you'd like to also get a good grade. You'd like to hopefully get an A. Um, so I'm here to tell you about some of the resources I use that uh, help me get an A in higher chemistry. Um, a little bit of background, I got an A in higher chemistry. Uh, I'm not saying that to brag, just to say that, yeah, I got an A using these resources. So hopefully they are uh, kind of credible and good to use. Uh, and yeah, a um, little bit of backstory. I did higher chemistry. I crashed higher chemistry in sixth year. And the last time I done chemistry was an S2. So uh, best believe that I probably had uh, the toughest time in that class uh, because I had to kind of learn the Nat 5 and like the basics. Um, and why I, did, uh, why I crashed higher in chemistry in uh, sixth year? Well, that's a long story and it's a story for another day. So without further ado, let's get to the resources. First resource is past papers simple <laughs> you can click off the video now I'm joking. don't click off the video um past papers best way to kind of recall um your knowledge and ultimately at the end of the day the exam you're sitting is going to be similar to the past papers that they have so why would you not want to practice as much as you can by doing as many questions as you can once you know um the knowledge and you can identify gaps in your knowledge blah 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 Past papers are great, um, but the SQA website is not great and it doesn't have all the past papers. But, but, who's here to save the day? Jab Chem is here to save the day. My hero, my savior for high chemistry was Jab Chem. Jab Chem, I don't know who you are. I don't know what teacher you are. Like, I don't know anything about you apart from the fact that I'm eternally grateful. You're the reason I got into uni. You're the reason that I got an A in higher chemistry. Jab Chem is best. Jab Chem has and I'm not being sponsored by Jab Chem, but like I love Jab Chem on another level. Um, Jab Chem has all of the higher chemistry past papers you can imagine, and it has its own solutions. So instead of the SQ marking scheme, where it's just like, oh, it was A, Jab Chem actually explains it and goes, why was it A? And gives you a rundown and tells you from what part of the course it was. And some of them even gives you a percentage of the amount of people that got it right. So you can gauge whether like, oh, this was maybe like an A level question, which was hard and people maybe didn't get it at right uh, sorry the majority of people didn't get it right so you can kind of run analysis on that as well i love jab chem so why is jab chem good why should you do past papers from jab chem first of all jab chem has like a massive bank of past papers um the only caveat with that is that like the old past papers they might have sections in it that you can't answer because it's not part of the curriculum anymore um especially if you go really really old like all the way to like 1990 and like further back like those are not the way the SQA ones are laid out so I would focus on the most recent ones and then if you end up having time maybe go back and practice with the older ones the older ones I think are generally tend to be harder as well um so yeah it's it's good to do past papers but they should be realistic past papers they should be past papers that are the level of your exam Jab Chem has physics um past papers as well as biology past papers so just go on the website uh, all everything's linked down below and just have a wee nosy and yeah jab chem literally like i was on that website like every day during exam season like doing my chemistry stuff um and yeah i love jab chem i probably had the most hits on that website <laughs> during the month of may because yeah i was there a lot second resource is quite for me, like an obvious one, um, which is the course spec. Um, go on the SQA website, find the course spec. The course spec is important because you need to actually know what you're covering in the course. Like if you don't know what's part of unit one, what's part of unit two, what's part of unit three, then when you're doing past papers, then you won't be able to pinpoint where you actually need to improve. And I think the course spec is a good guide because it's released by the SQA. They're the ones who are right in your exam, so they're the ones that will look at also look at the course spec and see whether the questions cover the material or not, if that makes sense. Um, it's good to use as a checklist. That's what I did. I like um, had it on a document and I ticked it off whether I was confident with that area of knowledge, whether I needed to improve on it. Um, and yeah, and it just makes sure that you are covering everything so that when you go into that exam, 
you know that you can answer all the questions because yes you've looked at the course back and you've seen everything in it um as revision what i would do um even if you go through a past paper you might not answer every single question but you can identify oh that's from um unit one kda 1.3 and i know that and you can kind of create links there and that was helpful for me so it might be helpful for someone else as well the resource that i have is a little bit different to the first two uh don't say that i don't give you variety um the third resource is a youtube channel and it's miss adams chemistry on youtube um she has really easy to follow good reviews of topics with examples that you can work through so you like just pause the video and do the example and then she explains it so it's good to have that um as refreshers i use a lot of her videos to revise nat 5 content um because i hadn't done nat 5 so i didn't know what they covered in nat 5 because a lot of the times they were building on that base um so she was great for that um yeah it's just a good channel to subscribe to and to have on hand especially like maybe um you're home and you don't have your teacher accessible so they can't explain anything and then it's good to go on with adam's youtube channel and she has playlists um so you can even save time and go through the units um and watch the videos i think they're just a good resource to have handy and especially like for us um it was we were like we were in school most of the time but still a lot of the time maybe if support study wasn't available we really had to take advantage of online resources um like Saddam's chemistry um so yeah highly rate it it was really really good really really helpful for me um and if you're someone who is doing crash hour chemistry then some of the videos on basics of chemistry like that are linked to like a level are really really helpful um i might leave a link to some of the ones that i watched they really really explain like the basics of um chemistry like solving equations things like that because that was something i didn't know how to do um sorry balancing equations i don't know why i said solving equations clearly like my chemistry level is it's not great another youtube resource that i really like is mrs stobo stobo school and basically what she does is she runs through questions so it's like multiple choice 2015 questions one two seven or whatever and she goes through them she explains them and tells you um the answer to them and yeah so it's it's just really good um it's good to have like if you're doing the past paper and you're stuck and you don't know the answer then you can go on and she might be able to explain it to you and that saves you emailing your teacher that saves you from having to ask them the next time you're in class or even if you do have to ask the next time you're in class um you can mention that a video that i'm watching you should did it this way blah, blah 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 and have a conversation about that um so that's what i would do a lot like after when i was reviewing a pat like i would spend a decent amount of time reviewing a past paper and i'd go on youtube and go hi your chemistry sqa paper 2016 question 25 to see if my sister was school or random teacher on the internet had uploaded um a video explaining it and that really saved me a lot of time because it stopped me from emailing teachers i also rewatch it as much as i'd want to because with like if you're if a teacher is explaining something to you they explain to you once and then you kind of go away and you're like oh so, so, and then you might do that question again and not get it and your teacher might not be there to explain it to you um so it's good to have a video that you can slow down speed up rewatch. um so yeah that's always handy to have a fifth resource that i would like to um talk about is this textbook it's higher chemistry preparation support for SQ exams, Lecky Higher Complete Revision in Practice. So my friend who did Higher Chemistry in fifth year gave me her old one. So I didn't buy it necessarily. I don't know if it's if it's worth spending money when there are really good free resources out there. Um, so that's the only caveat. If you can get it off a friend, if you can get it secondhand for cheap, then maybe it's worth it. But I wouldn't go spending a lot of money um, on a textbook because if you don't have that money to spend because you can get good notes, good resources online. And you can answer, ask it, access lots of past papers online for free. So just a caveat, you don't have to buy a textbook. Um, but I really liked it because it had good summaries of information. It had two papers in the back of it that were unique to the, um, uh, you were unique to the textbook. So it was like an additional past paper um, that you could do. It probably is not 100% similar to an SQA one. Past papers, as I say, are the SQA ones, but this one came really close. It was really good. I liked the two papers in it and you could go online and 
get the answers and explanations which were really really good and really, really helpful um so yeah if you have this uh textbook i would use it uh, a lot of the times i'm like textbooks are just maybe not the best way to gain access to information but i really really like this textbook and it's good sometimes to have um a physical book that you can kind of write on or put like little um tabs and post-it notes onto yeah these are the five resources i would say my top five resources for um doing well in higher chemistry thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in another video